So I started to work from the nude model when I was about 12 or 13, and my mother had to chaperone me. And I went to a woman's garage who held nightly figure drawing classes. And I would take these drawings back to my high school to talk to my art teacher about them. And the head of the school saw these and tried to have me expelled as a pornographer. And eventually he said, we'll let you do nude figure drawings of yourself and of nude women, but no nude men. And I think that cemented my commitment to telling stories that might not always be well received. Some of the first artists I was introduced to drew me to this idea of making work and telling stories around the female body. I started to think about how women are represented and how we can represent ourselves. And what's interesting about fairy tales is that they all began as women's oral and literary tales and were passed down from the generations. They were ways for women to talk about the perils of, of giving birth, which is why there were so many evil stepmothers, and that if a little girl or a young woman went into the woods, having a bad encounter with a huntsman or a wolf was a real probability. And by wolf, of course, they meant a menacing man. So something like Sleeping Beauty began in the 14th century with a woman who was raped by her father impregnated and wakes up as her babies are breastfeeding. So the stories are radically different in their original forms. I love Cinderella. In the earlier versions of Cinderella, she says, I will only marry the prince if I can stand up in front of the whole kingdom and share my oral history. And I love that sense of that feminism and that sense of identity and self-determination that the heroines in those stories have. For her click, I was very excited to make a unique print that was aligned with the mission of her click, which is very feminist-centric. So I thought about pairing a woman and a dog in a portrait together. You see so many images of men and dogs or men and women marriage portraits in the history of art that I thought this would be a nice turn. If my art had a tagline, what would it say? Maybe just hashtag feminist? 